everyone, welcome back. Today I have this summer bronzy eye makeup tutorial for you. So if you want to see how I achieve it, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I always do is sanitize my hands because I'm going to go in with the primer and I'm going to use my hands for that. And so especially in the summertime, I like for my skin to be as glowy as possible and really dewy. So I'm going to go in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating. But if you don't want your skin to be as dewy, I would just apply a primer that suits your skin type. So I just got this new Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but it's way too light on me. But I love the formula, so I'm going to still use it, but just mix it with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth formula. And I feel like it's just the perfect combination. And I'm applying my foundation with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And the reason why I'm applying it with this is because it'll help thin it out just a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural, which is perfect for the summertime because it won't feel like you have tons of foundation on. And I start my sponge out and I run it under water first a couple times and I squeeze it out. And then I take a paper towel and I wring out any of the excess water. And then I apply it that way. All right, so I zoomed you guys in just a little bit because we're gonna do the eyes now. And to prep our eyes, I'm just going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm gonna use that just to cancel out any redness that I have on my eyelids. And we're using the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and it looks like this. It's so good. You guys can create soft looks with this, dramatic looks with this. It's just amazing. And I'm going in with um, that white matte color, and I'm setting my base with that. And then I'm going in with the color Peanut Butter, and I'm going to use that as my crease color. So I'm applying it to my crease and to my upper crease. It's going to be our transition shade. So I'm really kind of going crazy with this. You don't have to be too precise with it because this is the color that's going to show up kind of behind the darker colors that we're going to apply after this. And I'm also applying this color in the outer V area as well because we're going to apply darker colors over there also. And now I'm going in to the color Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the only color that I use that didn't come out of the semi-sweet chocolate palette. But I wanted to apply this because I wanted to add a little bit more warmth in the crease area. But you can kind of skip this part. You can even use the color Mousse or the color Truffled if you do have this semi-sweet chocolate bar palette on hand. But yeah, you don't have to use this color. I just wanted to use it because I wanted more warmth. Now I'm going to take the color Coco Chili and I'm using a more precise blending brush. Let me see what I use. I use the Sephora Pro blending brush. It's a little bit more dense so I'm able to apply a little bit more color this way. But I'm applying that to the outer corner as you can tell and I'm slightly bringing it up into the crease. And I went into this color a few times to try to pack on as much color as possible. And then I'm going in with a more precise brush and I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but in the outer corner. So I'm leaving a space right in the middle and we're gonna apply another color later on. So now I'm going in with the same blending brush that I just used and there's no extra product on here. It's just whatever I had on from applying before, but I'm just going into the crease and I'm gonna try to connect the outer corner with the inner corner so it's as blended and seamless as possible. And now I'm going into the color caramel, which is this really pretty shimmery gold color. And the space that we left blank, I'm going to fill in with this color. And I'm using my fingers just because I found that this color in particular, it applied better with my hands. I don't know why. So I just use my fingers and yeah. And I really love this technique because it's kind of like a spotlight on your eyes. You have a dark color on the outer corner, a dark color on the inner corner, and then a really pretty bright color right in the center. 
All right, so we're gonna come back to the eyes in a little bit. I'm gonna apply my concealer first. And the reason I do this is I like to apply my concealer first and then smoke out my bottom lash line because if I do the opposite, I have to worry about my concealer ruining my smokiness and I'm not about that life. So I'm just going in with my NARS Creamy Concealer and applying it to all of the high points of my face and then I'm blending it out with the same sponge I use to blend out my foundation. And I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder just to help set that concealer. And then I'm going in with my Bare Minerals Bronzer in the color Warm. And this is the first time I actually used it and I actually really, really liked it. I'm using a big fluffy brush. So it is from Bare Minerals and it is the Flawless Face Brush. It's actually perfect for this bronzer, but I'm just using that just to help bring a little bit of warmth into my skin. And then I'm going into my Too Faced little black book of bronzers and I'm using the Dark Chocolate Soleil and I'm gonna use that to contour. So I'm going right under my cheekbones and then flicking upwards ever so slightly and then I'm bringing it up towards my hairline just to help blend it out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna finish the eyes now. I went ahead and applied black eyeliner to my waterline because it's impossible to do that on camera. And then I'm going in with a brush, which is the Sigma, let me find it, where are you? There you are. The Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush, and I'm applying peanut butter, and then with a more precise angled brush, I'm using the color Coco Chili, which is the color we use on the outer and inner corner and I'm applying it right to the outer corner of my lower lash line just to add a little bit of definition. And then I went off camera and applied my false lashes. The false lashes that I use, I'm gonna put in the description bar so you guys can see it. And then I'm just taking some eyeliner and trying to hide the lash band just a little bit so it looks a little bit more seamless. And then I'm going in with my highlighter, which is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It is bomb.com, it is so good. And then I'm going in with that and applying it to my cheekbones. I pretty much applied it everywhere, to be honest. I applied it to the bridge of my nose, to my cupid's bow. I applied it above my eyebrows. So I kind of just put it everywhere. Glow or go home, okay? But, but, if you want to go a little bit further, you can apply the same highlighter to the inner corner and to the bottom of your brow bone. Alright, so now I'm going in with my NARS blush called Orgasm. It's a really pretty, like, peachy blush color with little flecks of gold. So I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then just blending it upwards. So for the lips, I wanted to do something nude. So I went in with the color Fantasy by e.l.f. But I was kind of looking at it and it looked a little bit too brown. So I went in with Buxom Lip Gloss in the color White Russian. And this just made it look a little bit more pinky and the way I liked it. And the last thing that I always have to do, especially for my dry skin, is spray a little bit of my Smashbox primer water, and that is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.